PC gaming or console gaming is a debate that divides gamers everywhere. Today, we are diving deep into every detail to help you decide which one is best for you. I'll be comparing my custom built PC powered by a Ryzen 5500 and a not so old GTS 1060 with my PlayStation 5. Let's look at everything from performance and game variety to overall experience and price. One of the main advantages of consoles like the PlayStation 5 is their user-friendly nature. All you have to do is plug it in, set up your profile and you are ready to play. There's no need for technical expertise or troubleshooting compatibility issues. It's about as simple as gaming gets. On the other hand, PCs offer incredible levels of customization. You can upgrade almost any component like adding the extra RAM or a latest GPU. But this customization also comes with a learning curve. Building or even maintaining a gaming rig requires some technical expertise or knowledge, something that might intimidate beginners but appeals to gaming enthusiasts who love tinkering. One of the most debated aspects of gaming platforms is the graphics quality. With high-end hardware, gaming PCs have the potential for better graphics thanks to the advanced components like faster processors and dedicated GPUs. The GTX 1060 in my PC, while a bit older, but still can handle many demanding titles like the Cyberpunk, GTA 5 and others admit to high settings in 1080p. But the PS5 holds its own own powerful optimized graphics and the experience feels seamless. Console games are optimized to run at a constant non-variable frame rate typically 30, 60, or even 120 on the PlayStation 5. This creates a stable, predictable experience. While on the PC, frame rates vary depending on the settings and the hardware which you have, offering a customizable, but sometimes less predictable experience. PC gaming offers the flexibility in graphic settings. I can choose to lower the visuals to reach higher frame rates on my PC, but the PlayStation 5 keep things balanced with most games running at either 60 frames per second or even 120 frames per second at 1080p. PC gives you more control options. Some prefer the precision of a mouse and keyboard, especially for shooters. On the PlayStation 5 though, the DualSense controller adds immersive haptics which can't be matched by traditional PC controllers. On a PC, you have access to Steam, Epic Games and other platforms with thousands of games. The PlayStation 5 has exclusive games you can't find anywhere else like Spider-Man Miles Morales and the Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. The PS5 is known for exclusives while PC boasts mods and indie games which are unavailable on the consoles. Looking at the bigger picture, console gaming has around 629 million players globally, but PC gaming has an even larger reach with nearly 900 million players worldwide. It's a diverse ecosystem with room for every type of gamer. Building a PC like mine would cost around $500 to $600 and in Indian currency around 60 to 65,000 depending on the market prices. While the PS5 is 500 to 600 dollars currently on the market if you can find it in retail which is now available I believe. PC games can be cheaper especially with the regular sales on Steam and Epic. Console games tend to hold their price longer although there's also resale value with physical copies. PCs offer upgradability, allowing you to boost your graphics card or RAM as technology advances. The PlayStation 5, however, will stay as it is for the next several years, limiting upgrades to storage. Multiplayer on PC is mostly free, whereas PlayStation 5 requires a PlayStation Plus subscription. However, PlayStation Plus includes free monthly games, so there's a trade-off here. PCs Openness also means a larger community around mods and tweaks, like new skins in GTA 5 or game altering mods in Skyrim. The PlayStation 5 is designed to last until the next generation console, while a PC can be upgraded gradually to keep up with the new game demands. Both platforms are ready for the future, but PC users might access technologies like ray tracing sooner 
while Sony is investing in the VR experiences. Both platforms offer something unique. PCs are great for flexibility and customization, while the PlayStation 5 is straightforward and optimized for smooth gaming out of the box. In the end, it depends on your preferences. If you are into modding, want a larger game library, or enjoy building hardware, a PC is for you. But if you want to plug and play experience with top tier exclusive, go for the PlayStation 5.